Hello all. Before we start this uh, video, two things. First thing is, I want to say congratulations to my brother, K Brad, for getting third at Apex. Yes, he's a part of Fight Nation. No, I didn't say FNEX Fight Nation. Why? Because it wasn't FNEX's fault that he got to the top three. It wasn't because of us that he was top three. It was on his own merit. So I'm not going to take any credit from him for getting top three. So congratulations to you. Secondly, I have my lovely woman over here, and we're going to play one game of Marvel, and I'm going to be looking at you the entire time. Yeah. So we're going to see how cool this is before we actually start our video. So, oh, I should probably like start now. If that's not my team, oh well. Today's topic, even though I just got bodied, uh, today's topic is gamers, are they overly critical? The reason why I bring this up is because I saw a progressive commercial with Sonic in it, 
and uh, there was a bunch of people saying Sonic wouldn't have done this, Sonic wouldn't have done that. First of all, why does Sonic need car insurance? Even though that wasn't the point. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Even though it wasn't the point of the commercial, uh, people were still like upset about it. Gamers were upset at the fact that Sonic was running around the Progressive Studio looking for car insurance when he runs. <laughs> like now, me personally, I was just like, hey, Sonic was in a Progressive commercial. Like, so, you know, you're sitting on the couch and you're like. That's Sonic. You know what I'm saying? So, like, me, that's just how it was. But sometimes gamers are overly critical. But in this case, when it, you know, in the subject of gaming, you can't really say we're overly critical because how are you going to shove something down our throat? There's one product, there's one story, and there's one thing for 20 years and expect us to not go, hey, that's not right. Sonic wouldn't do that. That's, that's, like, that's, that's kind of like when it comes to the, the gaming movies. You know what I'm saying? You... For example, Resident Evil. Let's say Resident Evil, right? Resident Evil has been the same story since, what, the first one came out in 96? 95, 96? <laughs> the first game came out in like 96, 95, 96, I believe. I could be wrong, alright? Don't shoot me. I could be wrong. I don't have Wikipedia up or anything. But I think it came out in like 95 or 96. And, uh, freaking, the story has been one way from 95 to 96 all the way to 2012 you know what I'm saying so when you put out a product like the Resident Evil movies it's like who the hell is Alice who is that chick we've never seen it before why is the story different why is Claire have no emotion like you know what I'm saying things like that so you can't really say we're overly critical yesterday yeah he just wanted to interrupt me anyway you can't say gamers are overly critical because you shove a product down our throat for like 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 years. That's like saying Mario is, is he's not looking for a princess. He doesn't fight turtles. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't eat a flower that gives him fireball. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you put out a video, a movie, and uh, he doesn't have any powers. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's... It's different. You can't. You can't really say we're overly critical. You just. You can't do it because. That's what you told us to do, or you told us it was this way for so many years. So I do not say gamers are overly critical. I say the people who say gamers are overly critical are overly critical, right? Because you can't expect to just change something and have nobody just be like, hey, that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like that. It just doesn't work that way. And it kind of pissed me off when I saw it today. I saw it on Facebook and some dude was like, oh, gamers are overly critical. They're always saying this, they're always saying that. Now, me being the critic that I am, of course it's going to piss me off. I'm, I do WTFs. Like, I, I review stuff. Like, all oh, little sh stuff. All right? Being a critic that I am, that pissed me off. Plain and simple. Because we're not overly critical. Because like I said, you've shoved this one thing down our throats for so long. Inuyasha. That's like if they put out an Inuyasha movie and his hair is blue. Of course I'm gonna be like, oh, what? What the f is this? What is this? His hair's not blue? What is that, like a white or a silver? It's like silver, right? Something, something like that. But it ain't blue, which is the point. That's like freaking Solid Snake being played by Nicolas Cage. That pissed me off. <laughs> that would piss me off. And uh, I really wouldn't want that because I would take bottle caps to my penis. So, <laughs> so, yeah. I just wanted to get that off my chest real quick because uh, I've seen it on Facebook a couple times about these people saying that gamers are overly critical when we're not overly, overly critical. You're overly critical for thinking we're overly critical because we're not. All right. Uh, so now that that's over with, I'm gonna go back to beating my wife's ass in this marble because uh, she took advantage of me because I wasn't looking so I'm